I'm currently at the same time recording a video on how to make a simple artwork. It'll be a quick video explaining from sketching to line art to coloring to shading and through the whole process how to make a very simple thing. I have the video already done right here. I am just waiting to release it. So hi, yes, hello, it's me DJ, who even knows me here, anyone, anyone at all. I am sorry for not posting the full process video on time. Yes, the video was indeed finished and I was ready to post it, but I did say that it was going to be a simple video on how to make a simple artwork, which after analyzing that video, which was 20 minutes long, uh, it was definitely not simple enough. Clearly, since I want people to come out of these videos actually knowing something and feeling motivated to actually start drawing, I don't want to make things too complicated, so I made this video instead, starting from the very beginning, because this is a good use of my time, apparently. Apologies if you guys hear like gusts of wind coming from my mouth, because I have a new microphone and it's very sensitive, what? so it picks up like almost every single sound i had to close all my air conditioning and also my fan just so i can get like a decent silence out of this but that's okay and also i apologize for something else i used obs to record this and for some reason while i was recording the footage was like this <laughs> what? what am i drawing there how is that possible I don't know why the footage ended up looking like that, but uh, I, I'm not drawing on air. I, I am actually drawing properly. I don't know why OBS showed it like that. Anyway, enough introduction. Nobody listens to them anyway, I know. So before we start, god damn it, there's more? What is wrong with me? I literally said enough with the introductions. I need to make a few things clear. One, before you follow this particular tutorial, please watch my first video about the subject because that's where I outline the program layout and stuff. Going into this tutorial, I will assume you already know the outline of this. Secondly is that I have a list of keyboard shortcuts that I put in the description below that could be useful to you all if you all don't remember how to press Ctrl Z maybe. And finally, before asking any questions, do go to my other video, yes, I'm plugging everything today, which is the FAQ video to see if your question has been answered there. Alright, finally, to the artwork part, it only took us so much wasted time just to get to this point. First, you have to set up the canvas, and to do that, you have to go to File and click on New, and then choose a size, then press OK. Ta-da! Now you have a canvas. So what do we do on this canvas? So much potential. So many things can be done. What do we do? Uh, you see the layer window over there? You see it? You see it, right? What I'm going to do is to rename this layer to sketch by double clicking it. So now we're going to start sketching on this layer. You can basically do this with any brush at all, but I personally use the pencil brush for this. I think it works best for me, but find whatever works best for you. I'm gonna draw this cute little chibi of my friend Jack and her quote-unquote son, Connor. And yes, this is Among Us theme, and I like the game as well, so I will jump in on that trend. Thank you very much. Jack is actually a good artist, by the way, and she has her commissions open, and she also has a YouTube channel. So do check out her stuff, because if you don't, I will break your kneecaps. Once you're done with the sketching, lower the opacity of the layer a bit, because we're going to go over this later. Now that we're done with the sketch, I'm going to make a new layer above the sketch layer and just double click that and change the layer name to line art. For the line art, I will use the pen brush for this because it works best for me, but just like the sketch, you can basically use any brush at all. So what you do now is to just go over the lines, I guess. As you can see, I don't really use black for the outlines, I use like a dark brown. It gives a more softer effect, which I really like. Uh, there's of course nothing wrong with using just straight up pitch black, but I just think it adds a little bit more something something to it. Also, I already mentioned this in the Fire Alpaca Basics video, but if you want smoother lines, you can crank up this stabilizer to a higher number, 
But do be aware that the higher the number, the more your program will probably delay your line strokes. So just keep that in mind and find what works best for you. So the line art is now finished and it's looking quite okay now. So I'm going to make a new layer below the line art layer and above the sketch layer and I'm gonna double click that. We'll name this layer color. So now it's time to color. So what I usually do for this is that I will take this wand tool right here and select all the parts that I don't want to color. Hold shift while using the wand tool to select more than one area. Now that we've selected all of them, all those parts that you don't want to color, I'm going to go to this select option right here at the top and click on inverse. So now we have selected everything that we want to color. At this point, go to select again and click on contract and contract the whole selection by one pixel. This will make sure that you don't have any fine lines outside of the line art. And now select a color that you feel like you won't really be using that much in the whole drawing. I use this kind of muddy green disgusting vomit color for this. And now press function insert and it should fill the whole thing with that color. Now press Ctrl D to deselect everything and we have our base. To ensure our individual colors don't go outside of this parameter. <laughs> I'm using such, such interesting words right here. I feel like such a geek. Just check the protect alpha checkbox and that should do it. This way, anything that you do will be within the area only. To fill in the individual colors, select the bucket tool and see this expand thing, set that to one. And now we just go in and fill in the colors that we want for this drawing. Use the brush to do some touch-ups here and there. And at this point, we can already call this done. This is what we call a flat color drawing. But of course, shading is included in this lesson. So let's do that. Now for the shading. To do that, make a new layer above the color layer and double click that and name it shading. Before you start shading, make sure to check this clipping checkbox. Now what this does is that it would clip your current layer that you are on to the layer below that so that you won't go outside of the area that you colored in the layer below. It's kind of like the protect alpha thing, but this is on another layer, so it doesn't actually mess up the layer below when you color things in. Now you have to select your shading color. Usually people would go for absolute black for this, which it still works fine, of course, but I recommend something like a dark purple or a dark maroon. It gives the drawing a bit more tint of color. So once you have your shading color, or you can just copy mine, it's right there, apply that to one part of the drawing and then lower down the opacity of the layer to a point where you think that the shading is intense enough. A little tip is that the more intense and darker your shade, it indicates the intensity of the light source. So once you set it to a point you like, just shade the whole thing with this color. This is already good, but I want to do one last thing. I'm going to make a new layer that I'm going to put above all the other layers. This is the freaking king of layers right here. This layer is going to be named Highlights. What I usually do here is that I will give the eyes some sparkles using the color white and also use a lighter color for the hair and give the hair some shines and add things like blushies with the airbrush with some extra sparkles here and there. All right, I shall deem this drawing finished. If you want to add a background, you can make a new layer below all the other layers and make a background, but I'm going to keep this tutorial simple and stop it right there. To save, go to file and go to save as, pick a file type, name your file and save. Now you're done. Wow! That was a process indeed. I hope this tutorial did in fact help you all out in some way or another. And if you do end up making some art with the help of my tutorials, do post them on social media and tag me if you want to. All my socials are in the channel banner and also in the description below. 
I love seeing everyone's creations because it makes me feel like I did help in some way. So thanks for that. Thanks for making me feel like I have some use in this world. Also, shout out to all these people who made me some fan art. I love them all. I love them. You guys are so talented. Do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these and also some other videos that I will be posting soon. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to keep up with all these drawing tutorials and potentially I have some other things in store. So stick around if you want to and then you can keep your kneecaps. So yeah, I'll see y'all soon.